Today we have a new project. Webcam. Oh my. Holy hell. Webcam. Tip a quarter. Apple hints to aid in making good recordings. Helpful aids. Helpful hints to aid in making good recordings on your Webcore microcorder. For best results. I have two manuals. <laughs> Not bad. Ooh, this is a this is a gift. Look at that. Reel of tape. Only costed nineteen ninety five. The earbuds costed one dollar and fifty cents. The all leather carrying case costed. Fourteen ninety five, and the AC adapter. I meant the car adapter. Only costed two ninety five, and a battery back in the day costed nine ninety five, and all these batteries costed one dollar twenty five. Wow! Oh, there's more in the back. Wow. Well, well. Whatever the hell that thing is, costed, well, it tells you. Telephone pickup. Three ninety-five. All right, here we're on battery number number two. I'm charging my what well, was supposed to be a good battery. I've got two more batteries left. By the way, we're recording with the GR dash SXM nine fifteen. SVHSET camcorder in the back. Well, this battery has uh, three balls. Let's look at uh, more of this. So, this Webcore remote control microphone costs in $9.95 back in the day. And these um, cables costed. Transistor tape recorder all purpose cord kit five ninety five and these batteries costed Volt Mercury four fifty and uh whatever the hell that is. Crystal accessory pack. The fuck costed eight ninety five. And the this carrying case, long life battery, fifteen hundred hours, one ninety five for this uh, neat looking case. Well, that's a that's a neat one. Let's look at these weird looking pamphlets. Note: this transistor product has been carefully tested to meet with factory specifications through all its functions to 
difficulty sound arise check batteries before returning same for repairs since this product is dependent on batteries for power to maintain operation defective conditions can develop and be resolved by installing fresh batteries yeah, that's basically what I just read that's neat that that's still there what's this? no this transistor product has been carefully I wonder if they bought two of these makes sense here is <laughs> your original this is real leather by the way uh... carrying strap uh, uh, that's probably in good condition, I bet. Oh my, that fancy thing. Webcore microphone, anybody? Oh, even has a a stand. You know. Crystal microphone, eh? Yeah. And uh, what else do we have? Oh, this uh, case is just. Slowly falling apart. This is made. This is made with real velvet, <laughs> red velvet. Wow, how fancy! Damn, back in the day when they knew how to do shit. Mm, got tape in there. Let's uh, get it out. Let's get it out. <clears throat> Look at that red velvet. Oh my. Well, also, I figured out where this goes. I'll put that back there. Wherever this piece goes, it can go in there. Put that back in. We have micro quarter, too. Now, something I've noticed with these, uh, tape recorders is um, they uh, some I know about these uh, tape recorders is um, they don't have the same oh my look at that oh. tape intro oof that's dirty this is going to need a, a serious clean Anyway, um, something I noticed about these micro recorders is they don't use the exact model number as the recorder for the box. Like I saw a EP2204 uh, with, uh, with this model number recorder's box. This is the EP2104. This is from probably 1960. Look at that box. This is back when they they prided you with their with stuff. This is back when people took pride in their work. Even just the box has fucking red velvet. Now you don't see that anymore. That's for damn sure. Okay, let's put this back. Oh, let's put our instructions and shit back in here. Yes. Our instructions. Let's uh, open it up. It's all made out of metal, by the way. Look at that chrome. Still shining. Got a reel of tape in here. Well, that's a good sign. That means it has pull. <laughs> Web call. Web call. Let's 
micro corda. Microphone, external amp, remote, volume, and external power, and your record switch. Luckily this uh, came with a microphone because uh, I don't have a microphone with that is a microphone for this beauty. Alright. Alright, so let's check the batteries. I'm sure those are probably doing okay. Look at that. All metal. All metal constructions, except for this plastic piece. Hmm. My battery compartment is a tad bit corroded, but it, uh, I think it'll do. Hmm. Have some sort of name on that. Alright, so let's uh, take a look at the battery compartment. The batteries don't look bad. Let's look over here. A tad bit corroded. Takes AA batteries, I believe. Manufactured exclusive for Webcore Incorporated by Kowa Optical Works. Model EP2104, Chicago, Illinois, USA, serial number 2282. License under are more patents. So, take a look at that. Oh, also has a VU meter for optimum level performance. And here is your carry handle ports. Very nice. Very pretty tape recorder. Can't wait to see if it even works or if we're going to have to do some repairs. I'm going to guess some repairs. Let's uh... Well, these are, this is scotch branded tape. <laughs> well, we do have a pinch roller, but it is very dirty. Very dirty. I'm gonna have to clean that. Okay, let's uh, get us some AA batteries. Okay, we have uh, batteries. Let's, uh, let's see. Wow. Seems to work. Let's get a uh, nine volt out to me. Let's see what we have.
listen to this song. I actually think I might like this song. The song actually sounds good, but the speed selector isn't working. And I'm pretty sure that this was probably recorded with this tape recorder. Yeah, this does nothing. It might be fucked. Oh, this smells like my school. How I found that old, um... I forget what it's called. Ooh, vibrating. That actually sounds like a good recording. Oh wow, look at that. It's been like that for so many years. It's uh, developed a, a kink. Oh, look. oh, that looks... That's a nice tape. Let's get a... Uh, hold on, let me just see something here. Probably this is a crystal mic. For uh, a bad battery that tested one minute, that battery lasted a lot. So refresh your batteries always. Remember to do that. Alright, we're about to make a a test recording here on the web core. Let's see if this works. One, two. Alright, we're making a test recording on the web core microcorder model 2104. Is this uh, recorder working? Test over. Let's try that again. Get to clean that pop probably. Testing one, two, three. We are testing the web core. Test one, two, three. Oh, we don't even got deflection. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Nothing on the meter. <laughs> well, uh, shit. Look. Nothing on the meter. Not a damn thing. Test one, two, two. One, two. Testing one, two, three. Test. Unless this microphone shot. I doubt that. You did mini reel to tape. Mm. Fabulous. Guess we could feed it an audio signal and see what it does. I guess they designed it to where you can't do that. Same with the headphone. 
They're using really mini jacks. Huh. You can plug it into there. So. Huh. Oh, they're using like. Oh, they're using the really early shit. 1960s uh, electronics. The Japanese capacitors like taking shits. Test one two three. Test one two three. Test one two three. Test one two three. Ooh, it's a pitting. Test one two three. Test one two three. Test one two three. Alrighty, well, we have no audio output. What is this? Three fourths inches per second. I know. It wants three fourths inches per second. I give it three fourths inches per second. Let's uh, try this. Microphone is fine. Microphone works. Sounds good too. So if we're lucky, the uh, the tape recorder should play this. Let's try it. Got a tape with music on it. Should work.
three fours. Play. There should be something on this tape. Mmm. It's playing it, but very low. Our volume is all the way up. So this will need a recap. These capacitors are obviously shot. How old these batteries are? Maybe I should just feed it nine volts. I could do that. Has pretty decent torque. That's not normal. Oh, hold up. might be a warm-up phase but um yes the uh, tape recorder needs some love let's uh take it out but first we're gonna power it up oh. but first we are going to power it up with a nine volt power source not these nine volt batteries nine volt power source I'll be right back I believe this old I believe this old power supply should work. Let's uh, try it. Okay. My battery's done charging. Okay, let's uh, turn it on. 8.2 volts. 8.2. Let's dial that up. Nine. 9.9. That's nine volts. Okay. Let's try this. Let's try this for our. Uh,
Well, uh, okay. well, uh, now that we have power going in the amplifier, let's uh, test our mic. Test one, two, three, test one, two, three. rating at all. Somebody shall fix that. Um, it's my battery for reference, so I don't trust because I don't trust myself. Yep, that uh, goes there. Uh, goes there. Okay. Okay. Let's try this. Oh! Test one two three, test one two three, test one two three. Test one two three. Test one two three, test one two three. Very low output. Very low output. Test one two three. Test one two three, test one two three. This is a test of the Test one two three. Oh. That's overdriving. Test one two three, test one two three. Test one two three, test Wow. Um. Test one, two, three on the web core, reel to reel tape recorder. Test one, two, three, testing one, two, three, test one, over. Now let's play it back. Might just be the batteries. We're driving. Test one, two, three, test one, two, three. Test one, two, three, test. Test one, two, three, on the web core, reel to reel tape recorder. Test one, two, three, testing one, two, three, test one, over. Playback is very weak. Wine. Okay. Testing one, two, three. We are making a test recording. Test. Oh. Yeah, this, uh. I think this tape recorder is suffering from bad caps because I just lost my output. Oh. Test one, two, three. Test one two three. Test one two three. Oh, just lost the battery power. This is a test of the Webcore model twenty one o four. No wait, EP dash twenty one o four from nineteen sixty one. Does this thing still work from the dead? Test one two three. Test one two three. Oh, just lost the battery power. This is a test of the Webcore model. 2104, no wait, EP-2104 from 1961, does this thing still work from the dead? Uh, it records, but uh, has bad caps for sure. So, we are going to, um, actually, hold on. we are going to fix that. Also, we have our implemented stuff here. Got our battery power coming from our unit. This meter is broken by the way. Um, I'm gonna switch this thing to EP mode now. We are in EP mode which means the the, uh, the tape quality will degrade a little bit but that's okay. I'm currently taking off these screws to get the unit out so we can inspect the capacitors.
said just a few so. It's the only thing that makes sense that would come out. Is this supposed to come out? What am I supposed to do here? Remember, this screw goes there. for the unveiling. Look, oh my. Oh my, now that. Look at that, that is. Holy fuck. Look at this. Look at this thing of Japanese engineering. Oh my goodness. This is a thing of beauty. Look at that. The meter. Dirt and grime. But this uses a uh, spring belt, see? Spring belt.
that's still good. And then the pinch roller looks okay. It's got a bit of dirt on it. We're gonna have to clean that up. There's a one rubber belt that uh feels kind of deteriorated. We might have to replace that. We might just take out part the whole mechanism. Got some felt here. Oh yeah. Speaker's in good condition. And there is our circuit board. You see the troublemakers are ready. some neat engineering. What has these uh, switches? What this does for a play, this moves the sidler in place which uses the friction from this to turn. That belt's still pretty good. You can't get spring belts anymore, I don't think, for this. So you're gonna have to, like, use all you can. Look at that. That's just freaking beautiful. It's just fantastic. And look at how they routed these wires, these little tiny wires that go to the switch. This is truly amazing quality for a paper recorder like this. Alright, see, let's uh, take. Oh, damn, I'd be damned. This is, this is completely me out of metal. Look at that. Just got the plastic tape on it. Let's uh, draw. That's interesting. Let's look at this. Hmm. Hmm. What I just noticed. Flapping in the breeze. Ain't that weird though? I wonder if that's why it doesn't work right or it sounds low. Pretty sure those are in the audio section. I think that's an error in the factory. That's an error in the factory. That wasn't that was never soldered correctly. 100 microfarad at 10 volt. I got those. I do believe I do. It's uh, so this is how they're holding them in. A peg and a screw and a washer. <laughs> wow, well, that's an interesting uh, defect. I wonder if that was like that in the factory. Probably was like that in the factory. that 
probably was like that in the factory. I think this is a double sided board. Well, let's uh, take it out more. So this uh, little flathead screw goes there. <sighs> Gotta see this board. We should be able to do this now. I do believe that is a factory air back in the day. Part one done of this uh, video. This is all SP, high quality shit. SVHSET. Of course, it has to be SVHSET. Now, let's get these uh, batteries in. Or we'll just put them that way.
Hello. That's pork. The belts are very weak. I would say the spring belt that drives this is weak. The belt down there is fine. I can see that being fine. Well, that didn't fix a problem. <laughs> it's very low. Let's see how much uh, gain we have now that we have the, the microphone. Let's try it. Let's try it with the mic now that we've fixed it. Okay, let's uh, try this. Test one two three. Test one two three. Test one two three. Test one two three. Up. Oh. oh, now we have a. Uh, now we have um. Recording fluctuation. Just took a while for those caps to warm up. But this is your captain speaking. Yeah, this thing is out of whack. This is out of whack. I gotta find that uh, record switch and clean it. It's probably my problem. Test one two three. Test one two three. Hello, hello. Test one two three. Test one two three. Hello, hello. Test one two three. Test one two three. That meter is very weak now. Okay, let's stop this. Sounds like we have a bad transistor. Sounds like we have a bad transistor. Okay, well, we have a bad transistor. Quite honestly, not surprised. This is from the 60s, I would suspect a bad transistor. But it does record, so we have to be grateful for that. That's pretty good torque for what it is, I guess. Look at that, this is loose. Wow, look at that. This is loose. I don't know if this was factory problems or this is just wear and tear over the years, but look at that. It's loose as a goose. Okay. Look at that. Now ain't that a thing of beauty or what? Jeez.